Okay, good evening. Uh, welcome to the meeting of Independent School District 271. Um, Bloomington Public Schools, today is Monday, June 29, 2020. It is 7 p.m. And the school board meeting tonight is being conducted remotely via Hangouts Meet. It is being live streamed by BCTV and will be replayed for the usual BCTV replay schedule. There is no public recognition tonight during this hang Hangouts meeting. However, if you wish to contact the school board, please send an email to schoolboard at isd271.org. Upon conclusion of this meeting, there is a closed session of the school board to discuss negotiation. Okay, so let's go to... Okay, so I uh, will start with a roll call. So all those uh, board members present, please indicate you're there. Director Bennett. Here. Director Bibi. Here. Director Steigav. Here. Director Olson. Here. Director Sorum. Here. Uh, Director Starks is absent today and Director Corman is present. Okay, so next I'd like to uh, move approval of the agenda. So moved. Is there a second? Second, Steigoff. Okay, so all those in uh, favor of approving the agenda for today, please say aye. Director uh, Bennett. Aye. Director Bibi. Aye. Director Steigav? Aye. Director Olson? Aye. Director Sorum? Aye. And Corman, aye. That is six votes and the agenda has been approved. Uh, we're going to start with our first item here or with our one item today, board goals 2020-2021. Uh, could someone please read the resolution? Sorry, I'm not looking at you. Okay, Director Bennett. Be resolved that School Board of Independent School District 271 approves the goals for the 2020-2021 school year. Is that, is that off. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, before uh, before we go into discussion and voting, um, Mrs. Bunkle, could you please uh, put that? those goals on the screen so that the the viewing audience can see it okay i think we have uh, um, another okay let's just wait a second Okay, we're just having a little bit of technical difficulties there, so let's let's be patient there for a minute. So, uh, yep, there it is. Okay, well, the document is, has been open. Um, 
I, I just want to talk about those goals and how we came to this <clears throat> to this moment. So the goals have been discussed a couple times by the board members. And um, after the discussion during a couple of um, study sessions, then um, we um, came up with a final draft of ideas and those were um, shared with the administration and the administration helped us put together the final document, which was again shared uh, with the school board over the weekend and some uh, extra feedback was provided uh, between yesterday and this morning. And so what we're, the document that we're seeing tonight is the, the final result of this, um, of the goals. Okay. Okay, Deb, I'm not sure if you can see your screen. Um, we are seeing the list of the different items that you have in your drive, uh, but not the board goals. Okay, well, should I start reading those goals while we're waiting for Ms. Banco? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so those are our goals and you board members have this document with you. So board goals for 2020, 2021. Uh, June 29, 2020, we have um, under governance and policy, we have our strategic plan. Refresh strategic plan with an emphasis on our safe and supported schools plan. And this goal aligns with the resolution, uh, which states uh, that the school board pledges to refresh the strategic plan with an emphasis on our safe and supported schools plan. Then we have uh, prepare for the development and establishment of a new strategic plan in 2021 and 2022. Considering that this is a uh, much longer process that also needs to include um, feedback from stakeholders and participation. This will be um, something that we will be looking into as this year goes by so that we can start this full process on 21 to 22. Under policies and plans, we have ensured that our safe and supportive schools plan, including cultural proficiency, is reflected in school board policies in our curriculum and instruction, guides our budgeting process and helps shape organizational culture. This one aligns with that resolution, um, which says commits to instituting school board goals and policies and district educational curriculum that reflect the values expressed in this resolution and to reform current policies through an equity lens. So this is gonna be part of the work that the school board will be doing during the remaining of the year or during this next year. Um, then we have operational oversight and, and there we have a couple of items. The first one is accountability, ensure the establishment of non-academic academic accountability indicators for the safe and supportive schools plan. Uh, and then we have school planning 2020-2021 ensure the district achieves and remains in compliance with uh, MDH and MDE health and education guidelines throughout the school year. Finally, we have community engagement, advocacy and engagement, recruit and give voice to people historically underrepresented in stakeholder groups, conduct an annual self-evaluation to assess our modeling in words and actions a school environment that promotes respect for and curiosity about all cultures, affirms the equal humanity of all members of the community and rejects all forms of bullying and discrimination. And finally, participate in professional development regarding equity and access, which is foundational to, to safe and supportive schools. So those are our um, goals, school board goals for 2020 and 2021 year. 
uh, discussion board members, any comments in regards to those to this document? Anyone? Okay, I don't see anybody who would like to speak on that. Uh, Director Sorum, go ahead. I was just going to say that after looking at these again and then going back over our previous school board goals, mm -hmm. I like these because they're more specific and they and they define better what some of our goals actually are going to be. Uh, the other ones were pretty generic and pretty um, um, bland, if I may say so, not necessarily, but at this time, during this time of 2021, we have identified some of the definite policies, plans, accountability, and so forth that are going to be an engagement that are going to be necessary for our to continue our, um, our strong uh, community engagement and governance and policies. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, I don't see anyone. Oh, Director Bennett. Yeah, well, I just wanted to mention that we did a lot of conversation on, on these uh, goals just for the, the watching public. Um, we spent uh, probably two and a half hours talking about it last Thursday, and we also had a previous study session. Where we spent about an hour talking about it. So there's not really a lot left to discuss, but I want to you know thank everyone for their, their opinions and their voice. And I think we've uh, tried to not close down any conversation from anybody and let everyone have their their opinions heard and their voices heard. I also want to thank you know um, the superintendent and uh, Ms. Bunkle for all their uh, extra time putting staying with us and hanging in with us for the conversation. And that's it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, and definitely those goals are a reflection of the commitment that we have made this year in the work that we'll be doing with our safe and supportive schools plan. So uh, with the safe and supportive schools plan, you know, the, those conversations that we had had about this plan um, have taken place during several meetings that we had had. So while it may appear that we have not talked enough about it, we have actually had several conversations, and those are conversations that go even back to uh, the end of last year as well. And so we have also added some uh, professional development for our school board. And um, definitely as we, we now um, start uh, working towards the, the, uh, the achievement of those goals, uh, we're also looking into the whole plan and how the plan continues to develop and how the conversation continues. So in reality, the approval of those goals after the resolution was approved and after the plan was brought to the board, um, it's only the start of a, of a whole process of a whole work that we are, um, that, that we're um, getting into. So that's also for the purpose of informing um the, the viewing audience and public okay so i think we're ready to vote right okay so all those in favor of approving this res this resolution for board goals uh please say aye so i'll start aye. with director bennett aye director sorum aye director steigaff director olson Aye. Director Steiger. Aye. Director Bibi. Aye. And Corman, aye. So that is six votes and this resolution has been approved. Thank you. Okay, so the next item in the agenda is the... Sorry, I, I'm looking at my screen. <laughs> different windows okay we have uh, superintendent goals and for that I would just like to say a few things second please okay so now we have established our goals school school board goals for 2021 
20, 2021. And so the next step will be working, me working along with the superintendent regarding his goals for 2020, 2021. Uh, the superintendent proposed goals and that will be discussed at the July 13th study session. So we're not discussing those today, but we'll be discussing those during the session on that night. Superintendent goals are anticipated to be established at the August 10th school board meeting. Okay, so is anybody, yeah, superintendent, please. Well, let me, I'll take this opportunity to recognize, commend, and thank the board for the process and the discussion that led to these goals for the coming school year. As in prior years, once the board adopts their goals, I then start to work on drafting the goals for the superintendent and then for the respective leaders of the district. So on Wednesday, I have a cabinet meeting, administrative cabinet meeting, where I'm going to bring the board's goals, share with them, show a draft of my superintendent goals that aligns with the board's goals, and we're going to have a discussion about that. And then I'll be ready to bring it forward to the board for discussion on the 13th, as the chair said. So thank you, Chair Corman. Look forward to working with you. Yeah, thank you. And also thank you to you and the rest of the administration for working together and developing those goals for the school board as well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so it looks like we've come now to um, adjournment of our meeting. So would somebody like to move adjournment of the meeting tonight? Director Bibi? So move. That we we'll are second. second. Okay, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting tonight, please say aye. Um, Director Bennett? Aye. Director Sorum? Aye. Director Olson? Aye. Director Bibi? Aye. Director Steiga? Aye. I need to apologize. I got kicked out of the meeting for a minute, so I'm back. <laughs> and Corman, aye. This meeting has been adjourned. Thank you. And I'll see you in a little bit in our next meeting.